Good morning and here we are in the beautiful port of Mold here in Norway. Now this port is slightly bigger than ones like Skolden and Olden on this cruise but it is still relatively small. The population here is about 32,000 people so it's a very very small sort of town stroke city uh, here in Norway and as you can see uh, the port has sort of an industrial feel to it, but there is lots of pretty things as well. There's a lot of art here. Um, it's well known for the Atlantic Ocean Road, which is a road that travels from the mainland of Norway through to many of the small islands that you can just drive across rather than having to get on a boat, which is really cool. And it's what a lot of people do for an excursion here. They get a tour or a bus across the Atlantic Ocean Road. Other things here, they have churches like the, the typical stave church style. Um, also um, a great excursion if you are interested in doing something a little bit different is they do have a journey into the marble caves. You can actually get into a little uh, sort of underground raft and they sail you through into the marble caves with your own hard hat and jacket. Um, and that's a really cool thing to do um, and see all the, where the marble comes from. Um, so we're going to have a wander off. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do yet today. We're going to be just winging it a little bit, uh, going off on our own and exploring. But first, breakfast. And now after those lovely scenes, it's time to actually get off the ship and have a look around the port. So come join us. Here we are in Mould. Uh, as I said earlier, we had breakfast. Now we're out in the port. Uh, the shops don't open till 10 o'clock uh, here in Mould. So the things you can find are places to have a coffee, one of the world famous Norwegian bakeries to have some nice breads, cakes, pastries. Uh, but yeah, we're here. The views are insane because you're in a big sort of built up area, but then you have snow capped mountains at every angle. Really good place to explore. Um, if you're an active type, you can hike the Varden Path. If you are not and you just want to wander around town, there are plenty of shops to have a look at and enjoy the local area. I got a lot of vibes around this port of sort of Bruges in Belgium. So if you've been to Belgium, it gives that same similar vibe of sort of a city that's got everything you need, but lots of beautiful landscapes, small locations to go get a coffee, and just a lovely sort of atmosphere of being very relaxed and very chill. It was really pretty to go and have a look around, and we were really lucky that although it was a bit wet, it wasn't too rainy, so we were able to get around without too much problem. 
There were lots of bigger shops and lots of smaller shops. There were waterfalls and there were trees. There was everything you could imagine all in one place. It was a really, really nice place to walk around and really accessible. So if you do have mobility issues, you can take your time and get around the port really easily. If you don't want to buy an excursion or you're on a budget, this is a great opportunity to just simply take your time and explore the port. After that delicious slice of cake and a coffee, we headed up to the local museum, the Romsdal Musit. This is a really great place to go. It has a few different exhibitions um, and it's quite a nice space. So there's an outdoor part and an indoor part. The indoor part does have a cost to it. Um, I can't remember how much it was now, but it wasn't too expensive and you're able to go in and view the exhibits. There are, however, some free exhibitions and a gift shop. As well as the gift shop, there's actually a little location where you can watch people actually hand uh, sewing and knitting different products with the local wool, which is really interesting. Next, we had a walk around the outside part of the museum. These houses are all the sort of traditional houses here in Norway. The one thing that we didn't realise when we first started looking around them is a lot of them are actually lived in. They're not actually museum artefacts for you to just go in and have a look around. These are actual people's homes, but they're all here because they all look absolutely traditional and they really give you a great idea of what it used to be like living in Norway. Because Mold is so easy to get around and so close to the cruise port, we actually popped back onto the ship to get lunch so that we didn't have to spend more money in the port and we'd already paid for it. So I had some lovely protein from the buffet and Hugh had a Guy's Burger. In fact, I think he had Guy's Burger and Dirty Fries there. Yeah, the dirty one. And then we are back out into the port just for a lovely more ex explore and to get some well-deserved exercise. That's the key here. You can eat as much as you want on a cruise ship, but make sure you try and get outside. Get some of those calories burned off because you'll really feel the benefit of it when you go home and your clothes still fit. The scenes you're seeing now are from a little walking trail. A lot of people were walking up this area, walking dogs, just getting a breath of fresh air. It was nice to just walk up a sort of nature trail reminding me of home in the United Kingdom where we have lots of these sort of walking paths around. And it was just nice to see some greenery, including this bench that has seen better days. It was really nice, fresh air and really refreshing. Back in civilization now, we headed to a small cafe through the shopping mall on the way back to the ship. Coffee is like a high five in your mouth, said the sign, and absolutely I agree. Some of these cakes looked amazing, but we were still stuffed from our big lunch on board. But back to the ship, we had a whole afternoon and evening, and as we sailed away, we were starting to think about what we were going to have for dinner.
Now, as we watched the waves, we started to think about getting ready to go. So we headed down and first of all, we had to have our traditional pre-dinner cocktails. So we decided to go and have a look around the bars and see what was busy. And here we had a cocktail from the Alchemy Bar. Our dinner today involved this lovely selection of foods like tatar, chicken and bacon salad. We also had a variety of soups on the menu. I haven't got the exact menu to hand, but yeah, it was a very sort of simple meal tonight. Sort of very simple starters meat and potatoes for your lunch for your main courses and then obviously you have a delicious dessert what meal is ready without a dessert so we all had a dessert and then we settled in for a nice relaxing evening this was a great day and one that i will remember a long time and ending it in the piano bar as always with the lovely tatsu see you guys next week <laughs>